So good evening everyone. This is just a reminder on how to uh, create a practice test. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main page. Uh, whether you're pre-calculus, which means you're either 1110 or 1115 pre-calculus or college algebra, we use the pre-calculus textbook. We're going to roll back to, uh, because I was in this practice certify thing, oh, oh, my session died. And so we're logging back in. We're going to get to this place. And of course, if you only have one course, you'll have only one course. I'm going to go view course. And I'm going to go over here to web tests. Now, this particular class classroom that I'm in, enrolled in does not have any web tests assigned. You would have your list of exams for the semester here. Uh, but over here in this tab, practice web tests. Web tests? Web tests. There we go. I click on that and I can create one or I can use one from some previous creation. Of course, that says la-di-da. And so here's your web test. This one has particular criteria and I'll show you how to create this criteria by creating a new one. So you're gonna create a practice web test and you're going to name it poopy face. My favorite swear word. Actually, it's not because it's not a swear word, but anyway. Uh, let's say we're getting ready for uh, chapter three. Here are all these topics. Let's say that I'm having real trouble with this one and this topic. And so I've added those in. I can then remove them if I wish. I can add any others. Uh, and so I can do the following now. I want to I want to create a test that has, let's say, 20 questions. So um, it will draw 20 questions from these two sections. Uh, that we've selected and you've been using in the practice sessions and the certify sessions. And we can set a not timed 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60. With 20 questions, I would certainly go 60. That's probably uh, short, or you can set your own time. We typically take 75 minutes, and actually our questions are more like 14 or 15. Uh, but there we go. So I'm going to now scroll all the way to the bottom and hit start. Oh, enter a test time. Didn't I hit 75? Oh, set. There we go. And so I can hit start. It's going to generate, pull the questions from the database, and it'll generate a test. And it will always be in blue. There's the name of my exam. When I'm done, I can submit it, etc., etc. You can see the timer. As you know, you can hide the time if you desire. And so I'm getting define, excuse me, determine if the following equation has x axis symmetry, y axis symmetry origin symmetry or none of these. And in fact, this is the absolute value function, even though it's being horizontally stretched by four, uh, it has y-axis symmetry. And so I continue. And because it's a web test, you don't get results thrown at you right away. You're gonna have to wait either for the 75 minutes to expire, now significantly less than 75 minutes, if you consider 39 seconds to be significant, and uh, or once you get through all the questions. Uh, I believe you should know that you can navigate all of these questions, right? I can navigate directly to the questions if you'd like. There's some uh, inverse function work. Actually, it's uh, not inverse, it's combination of functions because it's f times g of one. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Good luck.